Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to be joined with Franklin Ignatius. He's now six wins, one draw, and it just keeps getting better. Delighted to get him on after his amazing victory. Probably best performance of his career so far, in my opinion. And he fought Steve Robinson over eight rounds. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, it was a good win. I was happy with it, you know. And um, we pushed on to bigger and better things. How do you rate your performance out of 10? Um, To be honest, knowing what I know about myself with the injuries I was carrying to the fight, I'm more than happy with the fight. Uh, I would say easy 7 or 8 out of 10. But because it was like I hadn't boxed all year, do you know what I mean? I hadn't boxed all year, so it was one of them things where it was like I wasn't really going to pull out unless I took a debilitating injury where I can't perform at all. Um. You know, any injuries that I was dealing with in career camp, I would have just took it, took it on the chin and cracked on. And I feel like I'd done more than enough. Well, the referee felt it as well. I'd done more than enough to win every round convincingly or damn it every round. So, yeah, mum. And um, I I thought you had him hurt a couple of times. Like, you you stunned him quite a few times. Yeah, a tough guy, you know. Like, I think... um. Like I said, with my injury and stuff, I feel like I wasn't as able to follow up as I normally am. Like, if people know me in the gym, they'll know that I like to put shots together and I can follow up quite well. But because of what I was dealing with, I couldn't really follow up on the night. But I would hurt him and he was able to grab on. Do you know what I mean? He'd know how to weather the storm. He was a tricky customer. At the same time, I felt like, I think it was even around seven, I started letting off like a salvo, really trying to get him out of there. And he just weathered the storm, man. So... Full credit to Steve. He's a tough guy, man. I don't think he'll be easy enough to work for anybody. Was he tougher, like... Like, I mean, tougher than you expected, like? Yes. I thought some of the shots I caught him with, I thought he'd go down. <laughs> I oh. thought he'd go down, and I thought he might not see the final bell. I'm not going to front. But um, boxing-wise, he was pretty much exactly what I expected. But um, his toughness and his heart really surprised me. And I think it makes sense because a friend of mine said it to me afterwards that, listen, he was coming in to fight you off a knockout win. His confidence was high. So you're going to expect that confidence to show itself in the fight for him to not, you know, lie down easily, for him to find another extra, like, willingness to keep going. So all the factors considered, man, I have to give him full credit. Mm -hmm. That was a bit of sort of beef between you two in the build-up. Yeah, there was a little needle here and there, man. But like I said, uh, I said it to one interview and I'll say it again here, but the truth of the matter is for me, um, every fight is kind of a grudge match. <laughs> yeah. Because at the end of the day, like, everything's on the line for me. You know, if I lose at this stage of my career, it's right back to the queue again. So I have to take every fight like a grudge match in order for me to get the best out of myself. So, um... You know, it's not impersonal to Steve, but, you know, um, he's done well and I've given full credit and I wish him all the best. Mm -hmm. And of course, how did it feel? Because you got quite a good TV slot, didn't you? Yeah, I did. They felt good, man, honestly. I wanted um, them, I think the only thing I would have sold to do would have been a stoppage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but outside of that, I was really happy, man. I've done well. Um, I think the everything... The was packed. Packed. And I loved it. You know, I realised, like, as I'm doing these stadium shows and TV shows and arena shows and that, I love it, man. I love the arena. I love the crowd, the vibe. I was coming out, um, you know, touching hands with people and I just can't wait to get in the ring and get cracking. I love it. I really love it. And first time on the zone, how did that feel? Yeah. It felt good, man. It felt good, you know. It's a great platform. I'm, I'm happy to box on there more. It was a good, it was a good experience. And you now you've upset two Wasserman... Uh... You fought two Wasserman fighters and beat them both. I'm sure they've got to sign you up now. I honestly have no idea, man. All I've got to do is just keep doing what I'm doing. Um, you know, there's more good fights ahead of me, but um, at the end of the day, my main priority right now is just healing up, getting myself in good condition, and then seeing what's out there. But I definitely want to be at, fingers crossed, let me not look too far ahead, but fingers crossed October. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed I'm going to be out October. Fight at the end of the day, I want to be out twice more. I'm hungry to be out there. So, you know... Um, it's good times ahead, man. It's so good times you, ahead. Have you sprained your wrist, or? Yeah, basically it's a sprained wrist. Um, it's just a sprained wrist. The swelling was quite severe, and I was mostly gone down from before. Then I also had um, some like tendonitis. Not even tendonitis. It was kind of like what do they call it? It was like a swelling in my 
in my elbow that I was carrying in from the fight where it was difficult to throw my jab or kind of let my left hook and things like that go properly. My elbow was really in quite a lot of pain, actually, from the beginning of the rounds, being on the fight. But um, I've had it for the last two weeks of camp. So I just felt like I was thinking to myself, I know it sounds crazy, but I was thinking to myself, this guy can't box that well. I'm going to be able to outbox him. So even with this injury where I can't jab his head off the way I, I was able to do with Jose, for example, I'll be able to catch him on the counter and hurt him and hopefully get him out of there. So I went in there with knowing that I had enough tools in my arsenal, even at less than 100% to do what I need to do. So were you when you were punching him, were you, was your elbow playing up a bit? My jab, yes. My left hand was, 100%. So normally I would have liked to throw the right, right hand or right hook and follow with the uppercuts or follow with the left hook. But I couldn't really follow up with my left hand much. And when I did follow up, because of the pain, it was mostly like slapping shots. Or the jab, I just faked it. I didn't really use it. If you look at the fight properly, most of the stuff I was doing was countering off the back foot. But because he couldn't box, he I would make him miss and then make him pay and catch him on the counter. But I couldn't really lead the charge and dictate. And he doesn't have a gas tank, so he was just sitting back. Whereas if I had, if our left arm was, was there, I would have been dictating with my jab, the way I did in the Jose rematch. Dictating with my jab, let him commit, catch him on the counter, and then go back to dictating and force him to gas out and get him out of there. What, what, what round did they? Result. Sorry, what round did they give him? Because it's seventy nine, seventy four. It says. Yeah, one round. Uh, I'm not sure. I think maybe my, maybe the last round. I think, but I'm not sure. The referee didn't tell me after. He just said to me that I pretty much um um won every round. I think it might have been maybe the last round. I think. Mm. Yeah, even the last or the first. <laughs> yeah. Um. But again, you beat him in his hometown. Was the crowd sort of against you? Like uh, in the beginning, they were. They were not against me as such, but they were very noisy for him. Big loud reception for Robinson. I think someone told me he sold like two fifty tickets for it, so it was a quite a big reception for him. But they got quiet as he started getting clipped. By the halfway in the fight, the arena was quiet. So <laughs> I was doing what. I do. Mate, uh, you make every you make everyone's fans go quiet. They're all just you love it, don't you, mate? Listen, I work my ass off, man. That's all it is. So because the thing like, is with the... you, if you were mm. in the home corner and it was a close fight, it's more likely to go to the home fire. But it does yeah. it does it, for you? Does it feel better going to someone's backyard and winning convincingly as well? Yeah, I think it's literally one of them that because I had that experience with the Jose of, uh, in the first fight. I always try um, with the rematch and with this one to not even, it sounds weird, but my thing is I'm not even going to let you touch me and I'm going to hurt you. So I just go in there with this whole thing of dictate and dominate. Do you know what I mean? I try to do my best to do it. And I think, because like you said, if it goes close, like I had that experience with Rosea fight the first time. If it goes close, if it's a 50-50 here and there, it's going to go to the home guy it's going to be a draw. So I try not to ever let that be a factor. So were but, um, you nervous? Uh, I don't know if I asked you this last time, but going into it? that Jose first fight, when it went all the way, were you nervous about the, the decision? The first fight, I felt like I'd done enough to win. So I wasn't nervous. The second fight, I was nervous because I already had the experience of the first fight. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you That's did better different. in the second fight, in my opinion. Yeah, but the first, but see, the first fight, once the bell had gone, it just felt like a normal fight to me. So as you do, as the rounds are going, in your head, you're thinking, yeah, I'm ahead. I lost the first round, but I'm winning the two, three, and four. So you're kind of like, okay, you go back to your corner at the end of the fight, and you're kind of like, okay, I won that. It was close, but I think I won that. I, done the, I was basically busy, simple. How happy yeah. are you to get these eight rounds in as well? A million percent very happy, man, because there's questions in the back of your head at all times as well where you always wonder... What's your gas tank saying? Can you handle the pressure? Can you da da da? And I was not able just able to handle the pressure. I boxed that a good clip. I could have even box more to be honest. I finished the, the eight rounds, still reasonably capable of doing more. If I thought if it was a ten round, I would have done ten rounds. Do you know what I mean? And that lets me know. You okay, felt this. like you could have done more. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I didn't. Feel, I didn't finish the fight. Fucked <laughs> on my feet and just done out. No, not at all. So I was happy about that. Were you scared that they were going to rob you? Because we've seen a few dodgy decisions recently. The car, the, the fight was too clean. I don't think he even hit me with a shot. The, the referee even said it to me after the fight, he said, you didn't get hit. Like, we were shot for like maybe five rounds at least. 
the guy didn't touch me with a jab. So I just couldn't see how they could rob me. I was just com- in complete control most of the round. Um, would they have given it a go to rob me? Maybe. But like I said, I just couldn't see how. Mm-hmm. I didn't give him. I didn't give him an opportunity to have an argument. Put it that way. <laughs> oh mate, I, I was watching at home and I was. I th- I I knew you was gonna win, mate, but I just didn't expect it to be that wide. You know. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I was impressed. I appreciate mate. It. I think, no, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. But yeah, man, it was like I said, it was a good fight. Um, the main thing about this fight, and I think people are gonna see in the first game forward, is that with this fight, having not fought in half a year and what would have stuff I was dealing with in camp and that the main thing was I've had this experience of you went there less than 100% and look what you just did in another man's backyard so imagine when you are 100% imagine when you do have yourself fully healed up and whatnot any bigger challenges you'll be more than capable do you know what I mean so that is like a boost to myself as well so now I sit back let myself heal up chill I might go to the Fisher fight in a week and a bit you know what I mean yeah, I have a feeling I might turn up there and have a little look and see what's going on. See how I they was crack about up. To, that was my next question, funny enough. Will you Go be on. looking at Fisher v Armstrong? Yeah, because ironically enough, I know both of them. <laughs> Even if I don't end up fighting them, I know both of them. I know, obviously, I've sparred Fisher in the past, and I know him personally. I sparred many a round with Harry Armstrong. He's got me ready for my two Hosea fights. So I can use the he's, he's, a, he's a good fighter as well, Harry, isn't he? he? Is. I think he's very underrated. So it's, it's gonna be a good, be a fight. good fight. I, think. I really think. I think, in my opinion, this will be the hardest fight of Fisher's career thus far. Oh yeah, really, about right that. This will be his hardest we'll fight. And I think this will be the... at the winner. Good point. Potentially, yeah. It, you know, what? it depends. Like I don't know what me and what someone are gonna do because they offered me another opportunity as well, but because of the injury, I had to decline that. But it just depends. And I just have to see what happens. But um, I would definitely want to see that fight and see who the winner is and go from there. But there's many options. There's the Southern area that's been decided, the English one. Wasserman then... love you, mate, now. What's that? Wasserman love you now. Yeah, now, yo, listen. <laughs> We're doing our job, man. That's all it is. You know, and I think they're starting. I think they, I don't know if they keep putting tests in front of me, but whatever they do, man, I keep smashing them. Like, I'm physically and mentally ready for the job, so... I'll be more. Than, I'll be capable of doing whatever I need to do. After the fights against Jose mm. and Steve, what fights did you go out and just like feel absolutely knackered after the the fight? First Jose fight, fucking no. The first Jose fight, yeah, because I was carrying him on the inside. I had to lean his twenty three stone on my back, and I'm trying to have a <laughs> chuck shot start doing. You know, but that first Jose fight, yeah. Let me not lie to you, bro. Listen. Sam, I'm not going to lie, that first fight, Jesus, I felt it. I finished them four rounds, and I thought, whoa, I was literally doing a weightlifting contest in there <laughs> on top of the... No, 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 I felt it in the first fight, man, the military. You guys uh, weigh, weigh quite a bit. Does that take... Yeah, you when weigh 20 you're in the stone, clinch, you just don't want to be there, do you, in the clinch? No. You know, it was. Because of the way the first fight was going, I didn't trust myself to point him on the in- outside. So I just thought, you better just stay on the inside, man. And then in the rematch, I switched it up completely and stayed on the outside because now I've worked on stuff in camp where I knew I was going to be better on the outside than you expect me to be. Because he just expected you to go out there and do the exact same thing and have a dust up with him. Correct. And I had no intention of doing that. Because if it was close again, no offence, like if you stood there and had a dust up over six and it mm. was close, mm. I thought they might have just given it to him. Just Agreed. 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 And honestly, I thought you were going in there and just going to have a dust up, and I was like, "Nah, nah. <laughs> these type of fights, you have to like." It's funny because, like you said, there's always a bit of grudge and needle, but emotionally, I'm always calm. And I know it's funny I say that. There's another guy on that night that I noticed, like we were in the hotel room together, and I noticed I had the feeling he might cause an upset because how calm he was. He was like me, and that was Liam. Oh, Liam, yes, I've had him on before. Man, I had listen, a fight week as well. He's a good guy, isn't he? Listen, me and him were in the hotel room. I got a lot of good praise for that guy because me and him were in the hotel room um, and the uh, thing in the morning of our fights. I'm in the way corner, he's in the way corner. But most people in the way corner, I've been, like I said, this is my first rodeo with the two Isaiah fights. And most people in the way corner, they're too nervous. What, too nervous. Journeyman? Yeah, journeyman and like guys, prospects or guys trying to trying to win. 
they're too nervous, especially guys trying to win. They're too nervous. They're too like uh, what's the word? Too emotional. I mean, Liam. I'm not sure if he... Liam was I don't like. Know if... Listen, Liam. I love that guy, bro. Liam was like a guy that was just going for a Sunday stroll. He, he smashed I wake him. Up. Did you I mean, watch listen, it? I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised because I saw the energy. Listen, I saw the energy. He woke up that morning and I thought to myself, this is a guy ready to fight. I'm not sure Kais is going to beat this guy. <laughs> Lee, I really Lee, smashed him in the... Liam, I like, surprised. honestly, I was so impressed with him as well. He just... I wasn't surprised, man. I was happy. I was well made up for him as well. The next day, I mean, the evening of the fight, you know, his fiance and his family and whatnot, and his friends. I was happy for him, man. He's a good guy. He's a very good guy. We, I know you, because his fight was before yours, I think. Was, yes, it was. Because you weren't, you, like, you wasn't watching it live, but if you did you watch it live or were you too busy, like, hitting the pads again? I get was too ready? busy in the thing, man, because he warmed up before me. So I saw him warming up. As soon as he warmed up and left to go fight, I started warming up. Remember, we were back to back. So, but then he's oh, coming he in. After, wait, you were after him? Before right? me. I was, yeah, he was, I was after him, but he was before me. So he oh. warms up. Leaves to go fight, then I start warming up. Okay. Then if you, I finish yeah, warming you, up. So if you, sorry to interrupt again, but have you watched it like since? Like, well, his fight? No, I just seen the highlights. I just seen the highlights. I just seen the highlights. But I was happy, man. I was seen the highlights and I saw enough. <laughs> he smashed. Him, uh, he looked like he was all over him. Yeah, he looked like he was all over him. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what it is, man. I've seen it because in the warm up, in the changes, he's getting ready. I think it was with Sam Gilly. Yeah. Getting ready in the changes. They the gene him up, telling him you do the job, da da da. He went out of there, done it, and then he came back and I can see him made up. Like I'm still about to go out and do my thing. But he's coming out, he's coming back to the changing room, smiling, British champ, feeling at the top of the world, his missus, everyone's with him, and he's happy as shit. And I was like, Yeah, good job, man. And then I go out there and then I do my thing, innit? Oh, that's so it was a good, good, good little vibe. Yeah, it was a good little vibe, man. Like I said, I like the guy, it was a good vibe. Yeah, yeah. He seemed I mean, he, 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 I mean, just you should. I mean, they tried to rob him as well. And I was like, hang on. Really? What, what's the scorecard? Uh, one of them had 115, 113 to Ashford. And when I heard Rocky that, I was like, they, I, when I heard that, I what? thought they're going to rob close. him here. And I would have just. Yeah, that's close. I don't know, 115, 113. The way I heard the And fight, he dropped the guy bad. three times. Yeah, mad. That basically means he would have lost every round that he didn't drop him in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it means Shocking. for one fifty, one thirteen. He would have lost every round that he didn't drop him in. I mean, I personally, because I think Ashfax with Wasserman as well, and I thought mm. they can't rob him, and they just nearly did, and I would have gone mad like if they just robbed him, and if they robbed you as well, I would have gone mad. No man, it is like I'm glad it's done now. It is what it is, but you know, like I said, I'm in priority now. It's healing up, get my hand healed, uh, put myself in a good place, and then go from there. Who have you got with Fisher and Armstrong, or do you just not want to say good fight though? Good fight, honestly. I feel like this fight might be too early for Fisher. Really? Yeah, because too early in the sense that he hasn't had a lot of tough journeymen before him. He's been given softest of the soft, and I understand why. The one time he came close to having a tough journeyman, he went the full distance and he struggled there and got cut and whatever, but. You need, he should have had another one of them, maybe two of them, and then go for someone like Harry. Because Harry is a season, not a season, season as such, but he's a tough, tough pro. Did you watch him Jamie, on TKV? The, yeah, man. Jamie threw the kitchen sink. Couldn't rattle the guy or get him out of there. Harry's, you know I mean? Harry's strong, isn't he? Strong as shit. And listen, that's one of the reasons he's my main sparring partner. Me and him sparred many around together. And I'm telling you, no matter what I hit this guy with, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you, Honestly, he'll get bars, take it, uh, right on the gum shield and go right back in. Man's as tough as they come. Tough as so would boots. you not fight him like in a pro fight? Not unless it... Not I wouldn't unless like there's to. a title. Yeah, or some type of fight that makes so much sense it can't be ignored. But I wouldn't... Nah, man. Like, we got a good relationship. Like... I've sparred many rounds with him. He's sparred many rounds with me. Like, I think he even sparred me for the Jamie TKV fight. I don't think... Ah, nah. I don't think it would be a thing. You know what I mean? We've done so many rounds together. Unless some crazy title was to be on the table, it wouldn't make sense. So you saying I'm but strong I, upset? I can see it. Yeah, I'm about to... I might put even a cheeky bet on it because I can see. I might be wrong. 
So I might be wrong, but mm. because I just like I said, Chris is a good fighter. I just feel like the opponents have been too soft, man. Do you think they? I reckon. Do you think they're gonna stand right from the start and just trade? If Fisher tries, yeah, that's probably Fisher's best bet, isn't it? Try Is push Barry, him up there. Bang as well. You want know, to funny thing? I just let's say let's let's say two scenarios here because it's a fight. Mm-hmm. One, Fisher comes out blasting, yeah, which he's done, been doing all these pro fights. He comes out like this against this guy. Harry can box. It's not a good idea. If the guy doesn't catch you count on the counter, he's gonna make you miss, make you miss, make you miss, and then come and get you later. Only opportunity is if maybe, maybe you get him on the ropes and the ref doesn't see you throwing a lot of punches back. And even if you're not getting hit, the ref might stop it because he's the A side. You're in his away in home. Yeah, court, because there are some court. refs, the stoppages. I mean, come yeah. on. You've got to be yeah. really careful sometimes when you get on those yeah. ropes. You've got to be so For real. For real. Because you so can get hit by like... like a simple one, two, then just a hook to the body. You're absolutely fine. And they just, it's just yeah. mad sometimes. So it's one of them. Like, when you see it, you have to think to yourself, how is um, Harry? Because if Harry tries the tactics he was doing with Jamie, where he was laying the rope, countering, picking his spots, it's not going to work. The likely is, I will put odds on that he will get stopped by the ref. Now, if he meets him in the middle of the ring, and like you said, they have a dust up now, different fight. So different fight. You would say Harry, if Harry goes on the back foot, you're saying Johnny more likely, but if they stand up yep. and have a dust up, you're favoring Harry. Yep. I would have thought you would have said the other way. No, because. Who is harder out of them? Fisher slightly, I would say. Fisher. I would say Fisher. Um, Not but going the just... distance. Just put it that way, in my opinion. Nah, I would be surprised. What, 10 rounds are in it for Southern Area? I would be surprised if it goes to distance. I can't see it. I don't... don't I mean, it might not even go five rounds, in my opinion. I would say up to eight, because it depends on... Actually, no, you're right. It might be five. <laughs> it might be five. You're right. It might be five. It, I mean, it won't, if they stand there in round one, it wouldn't surprise me if one goes down in round one because they both can whack. Mm. That's that's I'm fight funny. of the night, in my opinion. That could steal the show. I, I, you know what? Yeah, I, I want to be there, man, because I don't know how that fight's going to go, boy. Like, I look at it and I think to myself, it could go either way, and whoever wins is like a Quentos. I think Harry... On the skills part, has him. I'm not going to lie. I sparred both. Do you think Johnny Harry beat good. Jamie? No. Jamie outworked him. I think Jamie outworked him. I agree uh, with the, the, the scorecard in that fight. I thought it was fair. What was the scorecard again? Remind me. I think it was um, 78, no, 70, 78, 76, I think. That's fair. It was a close fight. That's fair. I'll take that. Close fight for Harry out, but um, Jamie, I worked him. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll accept that. I agree. That's a fair scorecard. Um, but in the case of in the case of um, Harry and Johnny, see the thing is both Jamie and Harry are defensively well scored. They don't have to catch shots, right shots, do the little pro things. You know what I mean? No offense to Johnny, he ain't never picked them things up. He can't catch a shot to save his life. He, I've never seen him ride a shot. He hasn't been gym. tested just yet, to just, be honest. And there you have it. So I say all them things and I look at Harry. Harry, on the other hand, can do these things well. Knows how to catch, knows how to ride, knows how to do the little subtle pro things. I'm excited them. for this. Man, put it like this. If he goes past five, Fisher's done. I can't see Fisher because I don't think Fisher can fight tired. I don't think Fisher can. Be in a situation where he's fighting and he's a bit knackered. He's and... gone past four, four rounds. I think I, he, won, he won six once, remember? Oh, oh yeah, he's went, yeah, sorry. No, he went six once. But the guy wasn't pushing him as much. He wasn't trying to chuck shots at him or nothing. We're just in a high guard walking forward. But that was the only fight where Fisher got cut a bit and whatnot. But in that fight, I looked at it and I thought to myself, okay, he doesn't like being pushed back. He doesn't like going backwards. 
And I'm sure if I noticed that, Harry would have noticed that. So Harry would have gone in the ring thinking, when this bell goes... He'll try and push him back, won't he, on the road side? Of course. Of course he would. This fight is going to go... Mark my words, I suspect this fight's going to go ding, 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 and Harry will come out the fucking corner like a fucking Red Bull, steaming. Because are you gonna go? Are you gonna jump in the ring? Whoever wins, and I might. You know, I don't know. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I might. You know, it just depends. I'm feeling on the day. I'm a. I'm a little shit there sometimes. So I might just <laughs> jump in and <laughs> say, "I'm a piece of you, your bum." <laughs> <laughs> that just might. I just might. <laughs> we'll just see, man. We'll just see. You know. What about but, uh... Fraser Clark v uh, David Allen? That's a fight that's been made. Don't think I don't know why David came out of retirement, man. Honestly, yeah. no offense to, to phrase that he can only fight what's in front of him. Why the fuck did David come out of retirement? Beef, I I think um Clark in five rounds, mate. I'm not sure about yeah, you. man. Of course, the man's done. The man is done. He ain't got no business being a professional fighting ring. The man's done. He, you know what I mean? David had a, an an all right career, but I think when he called it a day, I thought that was fair enough. He he did what Fact. he needed to do. Yeah. Facts. He's, he's got a few good wins under he his record, hasn't he, David? He's he's a good fighter, but I just think he, when he called it a day, that was fair. That's exactly what I thought. And the thing Why is, he if came, he loses this, but... if if David loses this, just like where where's he going to go? I mean, if he if he, you he a, if he fancies a if he a payday, why why don't he just fight you, mate? Listen, that's literally what happened. They'll feed him to someone like me or someone else. Oh, yeah, they'll looking... look at you and say, oh, let's build him up against somebody like you. And then when he steps in the ring, he's like, oh, no, what's hit me when he's when when you hit him, mate? Ugh. Listen, the whole different situation. You are the end of the rope. I'm in the beginning of mine. Just call it a day, Rob. That's the worst part because, see, it's someone like Steve or other fighters like that, you can say, oh, he wasn't that schooled or he wasn't that technical or whatever, but he's given it a go. But someone like Dave, you've had your time in the sun. You've done your thing, man. Now your body's not what it used to be. Why the fuck are you around for another young guy to build his name or for you? I- I'm scared. Because um, I mean? if he... I'm I'm scared because after seeing you against Stephen, I've seen you rocked him a few times, mm. and that's not even you 100%. I- I'd be scared for your next opponent, mate. <laughs> Come on, man. Listen, I can't wait. Honestly, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm just literally healing now. Let this wrist heal up properly, and I can't wait for my next one. What about honestly. Solomon? Um, the 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 Kaz, is it English champ? Bakers, English. Bakers, sorry. That's the fight that may very well happen. That's the fight that may very well happen as well. Oh, that's gonna that definitely. I'm looked out. Got that in my he, side. He's a good because that's because. Even though, because if you if it was a close fight against Stephen, as he was the home fight, they would have offered a rematch. But I don't see a reason why you should rematch him because you beat him so. I don't think there will be. There was, like you said, it was a wide win. There is no rematch. And I but, think Johnny, uh, you, and Harry are above area level as well. Yeah. But it's just the title's vacant. I mean, they Matrim look at Johnny. They're saying. Why don't we just get him a title? And they see the Southern Area, which is a very prestigious belt. Um, very, it's a good belt to get at the start of your career. And they, they look at Harry, they say, oh, he's lost. Let's take him on a defeat on his last fight. Because they, they, I reckon they'll look at Harry and they'll say, oh, Johnny should blow him out there in three rounds. But trust me, he's not going to blow that's him not, it's, it's Actually, that's tell not him not it won't surprise me if either of them, because if the stand and trade, mate, it wouldn't surprise me if it goes out in three, but mate, no, I, I think that's one of the fights I'm looking forward to the most. Look at Humdinger, right? Like, them three rounds, if it goes three, will be a fucking war. If it goes three and someone's gone in three, it's going to be a fucking Humdinger. Because I, I would can't like see. It, but... I would like them to imagine if they stand for 10 rounds and have a dust up and neither of them move. I mean, ah, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. I mean, after if that happens, no one can say Fisher ain't got a chin, boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'll be interesting, man. I'll definitely be there watching. I'll definitely be there watching. And uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. I wish them all the best, both of them. They're both good guys coming up. I like both of them. Like, outside of the boxing part of it, they're both good guys. What's so, your yeah, thoughts man. on Solomon Dirk, uh, Dakers as a fighter? Mm, basic. Athletic, I'll give him that. Very athletic type of geezer. It looks like he's always in good shape. 
but basic. I don't really see for someone for his accolades. I don't. I can't remember if he won something at the GB. I can't remember, but I do remember that he was in the GB squad. I can't remember if he won anything, but he was there. Yeah. And for someone who who someone who comes from an amateur background, he's not that good of a boxer, which is surprising. But he's not that good of a boxer. He's an okay boxer. He beat Ishmael. Like more... Remind me. Uh, when he won it, when he won the belt. Yes, I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. But I never but I remember I never seen Ishmael box. I don't know who the guy is. But I'm judging him based on the Argentinian. So that's the fight I saw. I thought his last fight was the, the title fight, was it not? Was it? I can't say. Like I said, the last fight I saw was the Argentinian. But I don't know. That fight might have been his last fight. I can't say. Was that, how far did that fight go? How was it? I didn't see it. He knocked him out in round two. Oh shit, that's good. Fucking hell. He might, he might have done, done a madness then because the last he, fight I he saw. He won in round that. two, but the guy wasn't okay. very happy. He won in March. Oh shit, that was his last fight. Yeah. Well, fucking hell. Then there you oh, go. Oh, you're talking about that Argentinian, I think. It went to Brocamonte. Rounds. That's right, Brocamonte or something like that. Yeah, Brocamonte. Yeah. And, he, and it says here on Boxrec that he's got one penciled in. 19th of August, and he's fighting somebody called Chris Thompson from South yeah. Africa. I haven't heard of him. If never know, yeah. but he's 12 and 4, so okay. Well, yeah, there you go. So, um, all right, fair play. But, um, I well, I'm in no state at the minute to even consider fighting Solomon with an injury or fighting anyone else, so I'm just healing. But if that fight does get offered to me in the future, I feel like it could be a good fight. Um, regardless of Ishmael, I'm no Ishmael. <laughs> I'm not Ishmael. I'm a different kettle of fish, and it's the same thing. Like what when about Steve Adelaide? Came in. Adelaide's a good guy, but I don't think I can fight him now because I don't have nothing to offer him. Once I have an English title behind me, maybe that fight would make sense then, because then it's like okay, or I get whatever title. Don't matter if it's the English. Don't matter what title, but whatever title I get, once I have a title, then I can make my case. But right now. With Frank Warren, Frank you Warren's think not gonna Frank's offer. padding his record up. Good point. I think he was. I think he was at one point about right that, but I don't think he is anymore because he's not fighting Fabio, or he was supposed to. And uh, from my understanding, they're gonna come to an agreement within by December. So him and Fabio are gonna get it on, and I don't think. Um, at that point, that would be both of them their hardest fights. Young two young guys coming up. Do you know what I mean? You know, I I know who I I think's gonna win that. Who you reckon? Fab. Mm, stoppage or points? Stoppage, mate. Okay. Wow, that's confident. Why? How? How do you see the fight unfolding? I just look at Adelaide, and I don't think he's been. Mm. You saw when he fought Sokolowski. Um, mm, Sokolowski that. beat him without a doubt. Yeah, yeah, and I, I just still don't think his chin's been tested either. Agreed. No one's ever cracked him, no. I mean, no yeah. one's really touched him, really. And I still and think I... he's padded up. Fabio's <laughs> had, I think, a fair few good fights. He's got a better record. I think Fa Fabio's looking good. I was at his last... Fab When Fabio beat um, Nathan Gorman. I wasn't at that one. I was at... um, But I've seen when he won the British, he looked... He looked good. Then, mm. and he also beat uh, Michael Coffey, who's a decent American fighter on the AJ card, yeah. which I was there. I mean, okay. he looked pretty good, and I, I do believe Wardley will stop. Uh, will would stop Adelaide in seven rounds. Jesus, that was interesting, man. Like I said, I can't say because Fabio, I think, is always a danger card because he. Is an orth an orthodox boxer that can that is very athletic and can punch and can bang, so that makes him dangerous. Adelaide can bang as well, but I feel like he's not as a. Uh... He, but then <laughs> he's not tested in the pros. But then, like you said, he can. Uh, it's weird, man. I can't say it's a weird one. They both got vulnerabilities. It's a weird one. It's a weird one. It's a weird <laughs> one. Because... Nah, so it's tough, bro. I'll be honest. It's, I can't. Because every time I want to pick this one, then I think, oh, but what about this guy's weaknesses? And then I want to pick that guy, and I think, nah, but what about if this guy does this? I can't say. But I genuinely think whoever comes through 
fighting um, that fight, it's going to be battle hardened. Mm-hmm. It will be a slight step ahead of myself or whatever because I need to still come through the whether Dakers or Fisher or whoever's there. I still need to come through them guys to then be yeah. at the British level. Do you know what I mean? That's just the simple truth. I because... would say for Fisher, going back to that fight, I would slightly say him at the minute based on uh, the knockouts that he's had and everyone's bigging him up and I just he's he's got scary power and no offense because well, I, I like Fisher's got scary power. Fisher's got power. Yeah, but not scary power. Scary power. The only person I would scary say... power. No, not scary power. Inu nah, Fish... is what you call scary power. What's that? Inu. Inu. Inu, Inu, you know what I mean? Oh, Ghana, you mean? Huh? What, the UFC guy? No, Inu. Um, What's he called? Inoue, is it? Oh, Inoue. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the Japanese guy, fuck, you know, yeah, him. He's got the kind of power that sent you to Mars. Yeah, him, man. And nah, tank. Him, him. Yeah, and tank, exactly. Another one. Yeah, them two guys got that crazy one touch. But Fisher's Fish has got good power, yeah, but I don't know, man. It just didn't strike he me as. He's favorite crazy. for this fight, in my opinion. What's that? He's favorite for the fight. Yes, he should be. His one is the home side. Two, the momentum is on his side. Three, the promotion is on his side. He's deservedly the favourite. With if Nick... Harry... Um, sorry, there's another person I'm going to throw into the mix that you just to talk about. Nick Webb, have you seen he's making his comeback? Oh, fucking hell, has he? <laughs> he's <laughs> making no his idea. comeback in September. Okay, what's, what's your... What is he fighting on a... On a, on a what, Wasserman or Matrim or... No, he's fighting on a, a small hall show. Um, a TM14 okay. show. I oh, okay. So oh, I've been TM14 myself. TM14 doing bad show. He's yeah, TM14 Donna. do good shows. I've been Very good shows. Them. Okay, cool. So if he's with them, that's my bad show. Oh, uh, all right, well, I don't know about Nick, man. How old is Nick now? Uh, well, right, let me have a look. Hang on. Uh, go on. He's on the older guys. The older set. Because he fought Fabio. Uh, t- t- if I'm honest, I thought he was going to beat Fabio, but we know what happened with that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that fight went left. Uh, it doesn't say his age on box rack. Because the reason I'm saying that is because he was coming from the Dave Allen era that I remember. And Dave Allen's retired, which says it all. So it's like, and anyone else who was coming up in that time, the Anthony Joshua's and whatever, they've already moved past and gone on. And anyone who didn't has kind of hung it up. So it's like, Nick Webb to be coming to come back now. You must be in your mid-30s, maybe going on late. So are you making, come, making a comeback so you can hope and get a salvin area? He's fighting or... for in four rounds against somebody from India who's 3-0. and Wow. Well, I mean, the fact he's from India don't give me no hope. But four <laughs> rounds. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I've been honest. I haven't seen a no heavyweight come out of India yet. But... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying it, man. I ain't seen no heavy come out of India yet. You know what I mean? But uh, the, 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 the free and all, maybe it's some good at that, you know. Uh, fair play. We'll just see how he gets on. There's nothing else to be said. Maybe he, he does a crazy win and he's back in the mix. Who knows? Mm. But yeah, there's lots of fights after that fight. I think that gets your name out there in the English scene, Southern area scene, or whatever. Wait, did you mm. say you had fight news pending, did you say, a minute ago, with Wasserman? No, no, no. I said I will fight news. Once this injury's healed up, I'll have a talk with Wasserman and see what they have on the table. Wait, so when you sign with them now? I don't know yet. I'm not sure. Mm. Well, there's lots of fights out there for you. Um, So, roughly one more fight this year? Is it 10 rounds? Yeah, or eight? Two if I can. eight or 10 rounds? Um, I don't know, man. I'd be happy with either eight or ten. I can do both. Mhm. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see you back in the ring off when your injury heals up, mate. And um, before I let you go, as always, do you want to thank anybody? Yes, my brother. I would like to thank. Um, in fact, I'm even wearing them. <laughs> Sorry, my injuries a bit messed up. Always fresh empire. They've always supported me. Um, you know, supported my camps. With training equipment, gear, and stuff, and I've always bought ringsides where when they could come. 
Um, also, Amazing Lofts, who just came on from my last fight, and um, Lounge Bar. I've also been there from, like you said, the TM14 days. <laughs> so I have to thank all of them, you know, um, because without them, it wouldn't be possible. Mm -hmm. And um, thank you for your time, mate, and uh, well done on the win um, a few weeks ago. Thank you, my brother. All right, then catch up soon, bro. Sorry. Thank you, mate. Bye. Yeah.